Hi, we want to explain about technological advances in economy. Technical progress can be classified into two parts. The first is embedded technological progress, improved technology which is exploited by investing in new equipment. New technical change methods are embedded in the equipment. And the second is disembodied technical progress, improved technology which allows increase in the output producer from given inputs without investing in new equipment. In other words, many innovations do not require replacing in the entire or some parts of equipment. It can be improved for better use depending upon the change required, hence technological progress, embedded or disembodied is matter of degree. The history of technology begins with the appearance of the human species on Earth. Traces of human equipment and technology since the beginning of their civilization. Starting from simple things like language development, making stone tools, to very complex ones like quantum computers. The term technology comes from the Greek word techna, meaning art and craft, and the word logos meaning word and speech. It was first used to describe applied art, but it's now used to describe advancement and change which affect the environment around us. Technological progress is one of the factors to increase economic growth in both industrialized countries and developing countries. Technological advance also made an industrial revolution in every period. At least for a time there has been an industrial revolution in this world. The first industrial revolution 1.0 took place in the 18th century which was marked by the invention of a steam engine which was used as a tool for production. Steam machines were first used in the UK by a textile factory which was used to increase the productivity of the, the textile industry. Before this era, the products production still relied on human and animal labor and only produced a few items each day. This rare revolution 2.0 occurred in the early 20th century which was marked by the invention of electricity. In this era, an assembly line was created that used as a conveyor belt in 1913. It changed the way of the production before. Car assembly also assisted with tools that we that use electric power which is much cheaper and easier than steam engine. Industrial Revolution 3.0 that was triggered by the discovery of machines that can move anything automatically, namely computer and robots. Computer were originally the size of a bedroom used in World War II, but over time with rapid technology advance made the size of computer getting smaller and have new features that could be used to help human work. With this advance, computer can be installed in machines that operate production lines and slowly replace human as worker. Industrial Revolution 4.0 is a trend in the industrial world that combines automatic technology with cyber technology. So in this era, instill intelligent technology into various aspects of human life. As for the various impact of technology, positive and negative. Positive impact of technology is first, economic growth will be even higher. Second, the more widespread use of ICT will increasingly open up employment opportunities. Third, companies can reach a wider market because buyers who access the internet are not limited by place and time. Negative impact of technology is first, more at risk of fraud. Second, the occurrence of employment for workers who do not have the qualification in accordance with that is needed. Third, make it easy for gamblers to carry out their plans. Since its discoveries, technology has been a great part of advancement in humanity. For example, the invention of steam powered machines. This has helped many industries to be able to produce products in far more efficient and with shorter amount of time. And it is too can be concluded that if a nation have a great advance in technology, especially in the matter of information and telecommunication, then that nation too can have an advanced and stable economics. Because in this matter, technology provides an important aspect that will help production and industry that then can build the interest of investors to invest and reinvest in technology so that it will serve as a great pump to improve the economic production. Like that in a nutshell, we hope this material can be useful.
Thank you for watching.